Well, hello YouTube. It's Paul, and welcome back to my kitchen. You know, it's summertime here in Michigan, so today I thought I'd share with you one of my recipes that's perfect for summertime. We're going to do some cucumber salad. It's real simple, no baking involved. It's just continuing my theme. I've had a lot of requests for guys wanting to know how to make simple dishes that are quick and easy, but they're still tasty. I think this one meets all those requirements. So. Okay, so this is going to be good. Let's jump right into it. First thing I'm going to do, well, you wash your cucumbers, obviously. Let's cut off the ends. I just do that out of habit. <clears throat> and then this is up to you, but I like them sliced thinner rather than thicker. You know, I'm not talking paper thin, but... Just take your time and get some nice thin cuts going. Okay, so you see with just a couple cucumbers you get a pretty good pile of them once you slice them up. So I put a few in the bowl and let's just get some salt on them to start. Toss a few more in there. A little bit of salt. See where they were stuck together. Let's break those apart as we want. Individual slices. Makes it better. When you're serving it, it's nice. So this is a recipe. It uses a lot of salt. uses some vinegar. Some sour cream. I use some Splenda in it, as you'll see, but you can use sugar. Alright, there's some salt there, and it wouldn't be too bad to add a little pepper now. Okay, and this is one recipe that's really to taste, so it's going to determine a lot about what you're doing. Give it a little bit more there. And let those start soaking while we start cutting up our onion. Now, I got here some sweet onions. I think that's key. You don't want the real strong onions, you want the sweet ones. So, uh, we'll get this here going. Get that all tossed. This is just one of those dishes I remember my mom cooking. And the smells of it all just kind of transports you right back to the old kitchen. Take you back home. Every summer, you know. Thin, thin, thin is what we're looking for. Sometimes you want big hunks of onion, like in your pepper steak, but not today. Not in this dish. Thin cucumbers, thin onions. This is one of those kinds of dishes that once it sets up, it's even better. Even better the next day. The salt and the vinegar kind of softens things up. Now this will be a viral video if I slice my thumb off, I suppose. As much as I'd like it to go viral. I like my thumb too, so I think I'll do my best to keep it. I'm just going to add that in there. I'm going to break them up. We don't want chunks. Just rings. Thin rings. And pieces. Don't got to be rings. In fact, maybe we'll just 
cut some of these into pieces. Still thin. <laughs> yes, it is making my eyes water. <laughs> you can't see that on film. But uh, it is doing it. And the blooper reel. Now we want to get some sour cream and I guess I should have had this open already. That's the difference between the pro cook shows and Paul's kitchen. <laughs> Let me go grab a spoon guys. I have to get kind of a big spoon and mix it around fancy like. So, that's two cucumbers. I've got one more there on standby. If I think I'll need them. Let's start throwing in some uh, sour cream. And I've got a little splash of water here. It's just, it's one of these we just kind of play it by ear. Oh, a couple guys trying to escape there. Get back in there. Smells good already though. Okay guys, so I cleaned out the rest of the sour cream. So that's a full large tub of that. Let's get some Splenda. Sugar, same thing. It's just I gotta watch my sugar, so we'll put a couple heaping teaspoons to start and then uh See what it's like. And it's interesting, I don't know what the reaction is, but you see all the foam that starts? That's when you know you got it going about right. You don't want this to be real liquidy, or at least I, I didn't care for it. Some people may, this has got a little bit of substance to the liquid from all the sour cream and stuff. And if you're watching, you can see we're clearly missing one ingredient so far. Not seeing any specks in it hardly. So, put in some pepper. You don't got to be afraid of that. It'll all mix in. So you want to see some specks when it's all mixed in. And you know you got it about right. And it's not a strong dish, you don't want any of the flavors to leap out. You know, you don't want the uh, vinegar to be overpowering, you don't want the pepper, the salt, or the sour from the sour cream. None of it to be overpowering. I like mine a little bit on the sweet side, if anything. Sweet with a tad of salty. Can't be afraid of the salt in it either. There's a lot here, so. Okay, between the uh, onions and the peppers, it really uh, starts to open you up a little. So this is what we got. I'm still not seeing too awful many pepper flakes. Yeah, there's some, see it? We'll just give it a little hit more. Yeah, that's it. See the bubbles popping through the pepper? It's brewing. I don't know what it is, but it is. It's supposed to. Let's try it. That's good. I'm going to give it... Um, two more tablespoons of a Splenda or sugar. starting to see some of that pepper. That's good. 
Mm, let's see. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's good. That is good. Like I say, when it ages some, when it sets, and that reaction's doing whatever it's doing, it comes out mighty fine. But it's good as it is right now. Okay, YouTube. Well, I'd say that's a wrap. Um, be sure to put it in the refrigerator if you're going to keep it. Uh, I wouldn't keep it for long. Try to go through it, you know, in a day or so. Um, it is good overnight, though, that when it sits in that refrigerator and it kind of percolates for a while, it gets really good. Um, very simple perfect for summer. Just wanted to share that idea with you guys. As we continue to try to do our cheap, easy, fun, simple recipes that you can throw together real quick. As always, I appreciate your time and for coming by the channel, checking out the videos. It means a lot to me. And if you guys keep watching, we'll keep pumping them out. So as always, thanks so much. We'll see you soon.